Hello, well, I've been working as a doctor for 30 years, and for most of that time I've been working as a homeopathic doctor using other forms of integrative medicine. So I wanted just to take a, a moment or two to talk about how I see medicine of the future. Because, you know, I'm at that stage in my life where, looking ahead, I wonder what's, what's going to come next. You know, where are we at? And we really do seem to be at a divide. You know, on the one hand, we've got medicine who's moving down an ever-increasingly technically superb reductionist, you know, measuring this, measuring that, a drug for every ill. You know, and it really is saving many, many lives. You know, it really is helping many, many patients. But on the other hand, we have got a burden of pathology, a burden of chronic illness, a burden of suffering that patients come in and tell me about every day that just isn't touched by conventional medicine. And I suppose for me the future is how do we help those patients where there's really an uncertainty about what's going on. We can't sort of reduce it down. We can't sort of manufacture a health, like you know, a quick fix. We have to engage with the patient in a different way. And it seems to be that medicine is fractioning, and maybe the society is fractioning a little bit about you know, which way do we go, which way do you want to go with your health treatment? You know, is it just something where you sort of bolt another part on when one goes wrong? You know, are we like a car that we just sort of fix or we just replace the light when the, when, the, when the light breaks? Or are we something more? Are we something organic and developing? And if we are, and those patients who want to work that way, how do we work with them? How do we help them tell their story about their illness? And how do we help them move through a sort of successive, le successive levels of well-being? So, you know, one of the ways that I've found really uh, valuable is working with the concept of vitality, the idea that actually people have their own ability to heal themselves. You know, that's the greatest gift that I think we have and what stands us apart from machines. And we have to, I think, pay attention to those systems of medicine that feed and nurture and nourish and develop that self-healing capacity. So for some patients who want to understand their illness in a different way and the patients who come and seek me out, who want to, if you like, learn something from their illness, who see it as a development opportunity. And, and there's lots of patients like that. They may be that way inclined. It may be because they've got lots of different symptoms. And I see a lot of patients who've got three or four different chronic illnesses that might be seeing three or four different specialists in the hospital. And they're each sort of giving them treatment and then they're having treatment for the side effects of the treatment. But actually, what we're trying to do when we see them and work with them homeopathically and holistically is we're trying to sort of understand the whole story. You know, how does the symptoms develop? How does one condition relate to the other? And I think for a growing portion of the population, that's the way they want to go. You know, when you look at the elderly and the illnesses they get, you know, we need to have one integrated approach to treat them. And for me, homeopathy has really been allowed me to sort of come alongside patients to understand their suffering and their healing journey in a different way. I mean, it, all, it sounds a bit flaky, but it's not. You know, it's very practical. There's a process to follow. You know where you're at. There's a series of consultations. You know, and it isn't for everyone. It doesn't work for everyone. It's not a magic cure. It's not that they're going to walk out the door after one pill and necessarily everything's going to disappear, although sometimes that happens. But it's actually that they actually... You can see them going through a journey. You know, old symptoms come back from before. You know, symptoms get less. They move out. The symptoms come out. You know, asthma comes out and eczema comes up and eczema goes and rhinitis or catarrh comes out and that goes. And gradually the patient gets better. And all the time they're going through this process, you see their energy, their vital force is coming up a little bit. I suppose that's why I sort of consider myself a holistic physician and that's why homeopathy's helped me be holistic because it allows me to sort of work with the whole person. I'm not just interested in their coughs and colds or their temperature or their pain in the right hip. You know, that I'm interested in understanding every aspect of the illness, what weather makes a difference, you know, how they are in temperature, what foods they like, their psychological profile. You know, some patients say to me, are you a psychiatrist? No, but I'm interested in the psychology of a patient. You know, how can I not be if I'm interested in the whole person? I think the other thing is whether medicine is an art or science. You know, as I look ahead into the future, you know, we're moving ever more down the sort of scientific paradigm. What does that mean? Well, we want to measure things. We want to take them out from the context they happen in. We want to see how they change over often a very short period of time. We're looking in really fine detail of what can be measured. So what we call quantitative measurements. But actually, the more artistic understanding of people, our medicine as an art, you know, we're at risk of forgetting that. And I think, again, for me, looking back on my 30 years as a doctor, you know, what homeopathy has allowed me to do is really remind myself and stay in touch with myself as, as an artist, as an artist that works to the best of my ability with patients, with the tools that I have available. And that sometimes feels like it's not enough, as for all doctors, but I know that I'm there to do my best. 
And I do my best by sort of understanding my subject, by understanding my patient, and just helping them where I can. And that ability for people, if you like, to help themselves when they get a little bit of support from their doctor, from their homeopathic doctor, from their physician, it's amazing.